Now, in an interview earlier this week, Chelsea and England football player Frank Lampard said that when the England players are trying to win the World Cup in South Africa this summer, it'd be a good thing if their wives and girlfriends stayed at home. I don't want the distraction, he said. So, are we distracting wives and girlfriends, especially when our men are hard at work? Are what? <laughs> <laughs> Um, then there would be a bit of a distraction, yes. Um, <laughs> Are you distracting? Oh! Are you distracting myself? I've just got that mood on at the minute. <laughs> um, no, I, I do find Tim coming to my work, I love it sometimes, but he does, it is a distraction for me as well. Because you know when I've told you that Tim wants cheeky cheeks, he does this. <laughs> so I'll just be about to go and do a live show and he goes, Oh, <laughs> you got five minutes in your dressing room flow when I go, I'm doing a show! You, what about when he's doing a show? Have you ever been Oh, in... I don't do that when he's doing a show. No, oh. no, what I do tend to do, I do tend to sort of heckle him a bit or you... do that thing on stage going, don't tell that joke, don't tell that joke. <laughs> right in the middle of his act, which, as you can understand, is a little Very bit off-putting. Off yeah. I couldn't be one of those people who follow their husbands around the world and doing things like that, that would absolutely do my head in. I also wouldn't want him with me all the time at work because I tend to boss him a bit. And no. Which will no. surprise, surprise everybody. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I do, I do find... Also, if you're sort of away working and your partner's there, um, you, 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 you're constantly... Uh, you know, you, you, if, you, if, you're late, if you're late from work and they don't let you home early and then you've mm. got them wanting to go out for dinner and stuff, I would rather separate the two as much as, as, much as possible. Mm. So I would find it a distraction if I was a footballer and the wags wanted to come. I wouldn't, I wouldn't well, want as, them near me. As much as, as much as I would love to follow my young man round uh, playing drums and everything, I think it is a complete distraction. And thank well, goodness... Well, if you were playing drums during it, that's a good thing. Sam is the... Sam is the... Oh, I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it is a distraction when you've got your partner uh, with you. Uh, I, I, I must admit, I, I find it... I do a completely different show when my fiancé is in the audience because I can't flirt with the band as much, you know. <laughs> or, you know, it's just a different atmosphere it's, it's a different when dynamic it, it creates, is. dynamic isn't it? It is. So uh, we, we've sort of sorted that out, that we don't really go to each other's gigs much. Well, I, I don't you know, so much travel with Darren now, but when we first got together, he has, you know, he's, he plays all over the world and, and quite often gets to take somebody with him. So I would go an awful lot with him before Ben came along. We had this gig in um, the Dominican DJ. Republic. Very, very top DJ. Yeah, he's a DJ. And um, so we get, to this, we get to the Dominican Republic and this, this guy picks us up, the promoter, and he's going, right, OK, Darren, I've sorted out your rider. Is there anything your girlfriend wants for tonight? And I said, um, yeah, I'd like a beanbag, please. I think he thought it was a new drug he'd not heard of. <laughs> <laughs> and I meant an actual beanbag. So we went to the gig, and Darren's on at like four o'clock in the morning, cos, you know, when you're the headline DJ, you go on late. Oh, I was so jet-lagged. So I got my beanbag out. But does he play like do, 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 do. Techno. Oh. Bang in, bang in, bang in. Oh. No words in it. Do, 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 no do, melody. Do, do, do. No. Yeah, he loves it. So I put the beanbag under the desk, and that's a little clip. <laughs> that's not distracting, that's Aww. keeping yourself tucked away like a but little mouse. What did the audience think you were doing under the down Well, there you go. <laughs> well, that is it's how I sustain my rock and roll myth. For three hours. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, I... <laughs> Never that long. Never that long. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I don't distract Ray, I don't... I can't distract Ray, because Ray's greatest love of his, in his life, and always will be, and will always come first, is his guitar. Aww. And I've accepted that, ladies and gentlemen. Aww. And um, so he sits there all day with the headphones on while we're watching telly, though. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> Strumming the guitar. Oh, you've no idea. So I sit there and think, bless him, he's so, you know, he's so into it, so professional. And then eventually I go... <laughs> because I can't really hear it, I can just hear this strumming, which is even worse in so a way. So he just sits there strumming while yeah, you're watching yeah, telly? Yeah, yeah. And the odd night when he decides to put the guitar down, I think, oh, well, here we go. <laughs> and then I tell him that he needs to practice a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, we're off for a break now, but we'll be having a lot.